Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to my first ever race on iRacing. We're going to get straight into it where I qualified fourth. I'll explain more about how I'm here and all the kind of things to do with uh, this even existing later on during the race. But let's let's go through the race, at least at the start of the race, because uh, this is for my first ever race, this is a really interesting one. I didn't do this on a live stream or anything like that. This was all done uh, off stream, you know, locally recorded. So everybody's seeing this for the first time because I didn't want the pressure of having to do my first race on a stream as well. And yeah, like I said, I qualified in fourth place. I got a not too bad of a start. I thought I might have been able to get up into first place by the first corner. But yeah, it, it was it was this is all obviously a learning experience. This is the first time I've raced in anger on iRacing. It's the first time I've raced with people in a you know a, a proper racing game for over two years now I think but it was the last time I, I did the uh, GT Sport series. So yeah it was uh, it was pretty interesting. Um, I thought I was going to get up here. I think I had to lift a little bit there to because because I wasn't sure that he was going to uh, give me the space so he's able to get back through up in second place. And then it does start to settle down a little bit more. That it's still a little bit crazy. There's a maybe five or six people that are all in pretty close proximity in the early stages of this race. But yeah, it, it gets it gets a lot more crazy than this. So we'll we'll watch the race in full as it goes on. And I wanted I wanted to show the entire race because, like I said, it is my my very first race. Yeah, we've obviously got someone. If you can see in the rear view mirror on my right hand side, he goes for an overtake into the first corner. But I managed to get the cut back, so that was uh, that was pretty nice. And again, this is my first ever lap racing on iRacing has already been quite the experience, and that is same as true for the rest of the race. So how it works for at least these races is that there's two laps of qualifying and then a 15 lap race. So you only get those two laps to set your best lap. Obviously, like I said, I qualified in fourth place, and then you're just thrown straight into 15 laps, and you've got a you know, keep it clean and, and all that kind of stuff as you're going through. Now, all races at this stage are going to be the same uh, if, for reasons that I'll explain later on. But essentially, this is all split up between everybody who's racing this same race. So they're all on the hour. All races happen at the same time. So everybody who sort of 200 people who want to do this race at this time they all get split up into groups of 12. You're seeing obviously one of the races with the group of 12 and it's all based on your eye rating. So eye rating is basically your measurement of skill. It's affected by results. So the more that you win, the higher your eye rating gets. The, when you lose, you lose eye rating and you get matched up with people who have similar eye rating to you. But there's also a safety rating as well. Now that determines the level of racing license that you hold. So everyone starts out as a rookie with a safety rating of 2.5. That's what I am right now, as you're seeing this video. And if you increase your safety rating to three, you get a D license. And as you further increase your safety rating, you unlock C, B and A licenses. A is the, the top one. You increase your safety rating by basically just driving cleanly, driving well, not hitting other cars, not going off the track. You might have seen at the very top of the screen a, a warning pops up every time I uh, go off the track, even if it's just a little bit, putting a, a you know your tire off a little bit, that gives you an infraction and that will impact your safety rating as well. So clean, consistent. Uh, driving is how you increase your safety rating. It doesn't make a difference whether you're last or first. Safety rating is all about how clean you are. So the type of races that you can do in iRacing is determined by your license. So when you're a rookie, as I am here, when you're first starting out, you can only do the type of race that you're seeing now. It's only one type of race. The track for this race does change every week but ultimately it's always Mazda MX-5s on whatever the track happens to be during that week. When you unlock the D license, more cars, classes and races open up and then that increases as you, you know, unlock more and more licenses to the point where you can access everything. Now the focus for this series is all going to be about my journey through those licenses from rookie license to A license. 
if I can get there, and showcasing my journey through the career side of iRacing. Depending on how into this I get, I might end up having other series, sort of for league racing or events or something, but we'll start here for now and see how it goes. So like I said, there was over 200 people in this race and initially everybody practices together. So I was seeing the lap times that are possible from, you know, the top guys. So during this race, during practice, obviously I was doing plenty of practice and during the qualifying, I was doing lap times around the one minute nine level. And I was seeing lap times of maybe one minute sevens from the top guys around here. So I guess I'm not too far off the pace with it being my first race, but yeah, you know, there's still plenty of improvement to make. Obviously this was a bit of a hairy moment with the, uh, the back marker at this point, not only for me, but for the two guys in front. And at the minute, this is a three-way battle for the lead. The leader did get away at the start, but both second and third have, have reeled him in. So we're having a three-way battle for the lead and it gets kind of interesting at this point. And, and that's the thing with eye racing it and more proper racing games in general obviously i hit the back end there of the guy in second place and you can see the notification at the top of the screen uh, so that you know reduced my safety rating at least a little bit but that's the thing with iRacing or proper racing games that you get more intense battles like this and even if it's not quite as action-packed of overtaking every single lap there's there's the the intense aspect there of any, but any small mistake is going to have a massive impact. For example, the guy in second place there makes a little bit of a mistake, and I just couldn't capitalise it. But on it, but you know, that, that's, this is how it goes. Obviously, first place then makes a mistake, and then they have a coming together. I go up into second place. It, it's it's crazy that this is kind of happening because, as I'll talk about in a little while, when you're looking at some of the more sort of higher level racers or people who are more uh, experience with the game you tend to get races that are much more normal more, more, more what you would likely to see from you know higher level racing in real life where there's not an awful lot of stuff like this going on in terms of contact and things like that obviously as you can see there I get punted up the back by the guy who was in the lead who lost the lead I don't know what whether he just missed his breaking point there or uh, he was you know going for me on purpose we've got a replay here and uh, replays are something that we're going to be having uh, during during the, uh, the these this series it's a function that I can put in so you know I might as well use it so yeah what quite what he was doing there I don't know but uh, I got away with it whether he gave me the position back there I'm not sure or he just let me get back in a second I don't know um, but at this point I am able to sort of consolidate the second place and and you know this has already been a crazy first race we're not even halfway through yet and and you know i'm just trying my best to to keep it all together to be honest i'm not really looking to to win or anything like that all i want to do is to have a successful race where i don't you know punt it off and dnf or something like that so yeah like i said i was seeing lap times from the top guys in the one minute sevens um and obviously I had done practice before this, but eye racing isn't the sort of thing where you can just jump straight into a race. It's very much on the sim simulator side, more so than sort of console games like Forza and Gran Turismo. And a wheel is, you know, absolutely required. You have to have a wheel. I actually forgot I made that mistake there. So I, I lost second place. I think I get it back again, pussy. Um, but yeah, I forgot I did that. But that's the thing little mistakes one small mistake like that is enough for you to lose a position uh see so you've got to be you know you've got to, and then he makes a mistake and uh, i was kind of obviously this guy he i think he qualified on pole position but seems like he's a little bit inconsistent and that's something that will come with obviously experience as well first place has started to get a little bit more inconsistent as well so we're back to a three-way battle for the lead now, I actually missed my first race. I, I forgot the, well, I didn't realize that I hadn't registered for it officially. So the race that I was going to do, which was set to be an hour before this one, and there's me talking again about that consistency. Um, he actually loses third place, I think, or it's, there's a battle behind us going on for third place. So we got a four way battle for the lead essentially at this point. But yeah, the race that I was gonna do was meant to be an hour before this in the, the, the time slot before this and I missed it because I didn't register so 
I decided to sort of spectate one of the higher level versions of this race. So I was, it was quite fun to watch that. I was watching basically three or four guys. They were all battling together at the front, basically in a line all the way through because they were all setting good lap times. And I did manage to gain a few tips from watching the onboards from those people uh, that I was able to utilize in this race as well. Certainly when it comes to sort of gear selections and gear choices, as I think. Um, but why am I here in the first place? Why am I on iRacing? Why am I talking to you here? Just to keep, just to let you know that the future videos in this series, they won't be me talking like this. It's going to be sort of live footage from live streams and me talking as the race is going through. Let me know if you prefer me to talk like this retroactively over a race. But I think it, it's better when I'm talking during the race and you're getting my impressions immediately. I'll still be having the replays and things like that on, obviously, but yeah let, let me know um what you prefer when it comes to these kind of videos but i felt like the first episode is my first ever race i should introduce the series and explain what it's all about so i've played all sorts of proper racing games you could say throughout my life you know ever since gran turismo 3 and forza motorsport 2 there's older series on this channel showcasing that with the most recent proper racing game really i guess being gran turismo sport which like I said, was over two years ago now. But after playing those games for the best part of you know, 15 years, I quickly get bored of them these days. Uh, and that's why I enjoy GTA racing so much for its accessibility and variety alongside decent skill-based driving mechanics. You know, it, it, it's pretty much the perfect midpoint in my opinion between arcade and simulator racing games. But for a long time, people have wanted me to give iRacing a go, knowing my history with proper racing games and the fact that you know I, I can I can race on them, um, and, and none more so recently than GTA speedrunner and fellow Choking Hazard podcast co-host Joshimus, who's been trying to get me to give it a go ever since he got into it. Now I bought a one-year subscription to iRacing in a massive sale um, this summer on Steam, I think it was with you know the, the promise that i'll give it a go at some point you know I, I will i've bought the subscription okay within the next year it was a year's subscription i promise i'll give it a go but then during one of our podcast episodes he roped me into doing a 23 hour endurance event that jimmy broadbent is hosting for charity as part of his team uh, which is of course the gta company related prolapse motorsport so Joshua Muzz and I, along with our other teammates, will be racing in this 23-hour event. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on my second channel, which shows my first ever experience with iRacing when it comes to setting it up and actually driving on it for the very first time. And that also gives a little bit, bit a little bit more background to all of this as it actually happened, because there's a bit of a highlight from the podcast episode as well. But first I need to get out of rookies by driving safely in races to get my D license. Then my first race will naturally be an endurance event. As you can see at this point, the guy in the lead makes a little bit of a mistake there. And this is what it's all about. Just little mistakes can you know, badly, one small mistake will make you lose the lead like that. So he's lost the lead and I think he drops down to third place actually. The guy who is in second place now has been following me for quite a while. He, he's always sort of been one place behind me. And at this point, I I kind of, you know, just stiffened up a little bit. I was a little bit nervous at this point. This is the first time I've been in the lead of a race on iRacing. It's the first race that I've ever done on iRacing. And it's very noticeable that I do get slower. <laughs> it's a lot easier to follow than it is to be in the lead and being chased down. So yeah, the, the, the guys behind do catch up to me and yeah, it get, gets it gets interesting. It gets even more interesting, let's say. But yeah, um, my first stint in the endurance race that we're gonna be doing is actually in the dark. So my first race out of rookies is gonna be an endurance event in the dark. Great, you know, throwing myself into the deep end big time there. Blame Josh and Buzz, I suppose. But if you're watching this video when it goes live, that event will be happening over the weekend. So if you head to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash bruffy1322, if you head to it at any point over the weekend, 
the race coverage will likely be there. I'm just going to host a 24-hour stream, spectating it when I'm not there. And I'll also tweet out on you know on Twitter and things when, when I'm going to be driving myself. So you can keep updated there if you do want to watch that event and, and watch me race in it. But yeah, th th that's probably a story for another time in, in more detail. But the focus of this video is, of course, what's going to happen in my first ever fully fledged race. This is the, the first one that I've ever done. I just threw, threw myself in. I'm, I'm now driving a lot worse, as you can see. I'm getting, I'm cutting, cut that corner too much and got a warning there. And for this series, that's going to be what we're going to focus on. We're going to continue the career mode journey, so to speak, of iRacing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to deal with the pressure, but it's been a long time that I've been racing on games like this. You know, GT Sport, like I said, was a long time ago. We've still got a three-way battle for the lead because the, the the two guys behind it, you know, they're still right there. It's not just me and one other guy battling it out. And I do run a little bit wide there and make a little bit of a mistake, and that gives the guy behind a run on me going into the first corner. And like I, like I keep saying, that's all it takes sometimes, just a little mistake, and you will get punished for it. It is a proper sim game. Now, I probably should have backed out of it here. I did try to hold on around the outside, but that was never really going to work. I should have backed out. Um, so, you know, I've dropped down into second place. I was thinking, oh, it's a little bit disappointing. I'm going to try and get it back again. But in the end, I didn't need to because the guy in third place launches across the grass and takes out the guy who had just taken the lead. So we're going to see a replay of what happened there. And at the time, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is going on in this race? It's already been crazy. This isn't how I thought iRacing races would go. Um, but obviously, you know, it is rookies. Everybody's new. We can see, obviously, I, I lost the lead there. And then the guy in third place, he basically just makes a mistake. I, I, I thought, was it, was it intentional or something? But he just makes a mistake, has a really bad re-entry. You know, that's how you shouldn't be re-entering the track. The guy in first place crashes into him. I take the lead and then from that point on I actually managed to drive away so I don't know whether the guy behind had sustained some damage or something that made him slower it's possible I still I'm still not perfect on you know the entire mechanics of the game it's it's been you know I, I, this is my first race I'm not entirely sure exactly how it works with damage and all that kind of stuff but it does it seemed like he got slower after that point so I wouldn't be surprised if there was damage and it was a fairly substantial hit so yeah, then at that point, when I noticed that I was starting to pull away a little bit, I started to calm down a little bit and I was able to drive a bit more, um, you know, safely and nicely for the final couple of laps. And I end up winning my very first iRacing race, which is kind of crazy to, to think that, especially the way that this went, I qualified fourth, there was so many changes for the lead. It was three and four way battles for the lead throughout a good portion of it. I got hit a few times. I hit people a few times. I went off the track once. Other people went off the track. There was crashes that, you know, the, the guy who just came across the grass. It was such a terrible re-entry, you know, it was entirely on his fault. Okay, I think that it wasn't an intentional uh, hit, but it was certainly a bad re-entry from him. He should have, you know, braked and... and uh, come back onto the track in a much more controlled way. So I would say I probably got a little bit lucky, certainly once I'd lost the lead, to, to be gifted it back so so easily again. I, I, I certainly count myself a little bit lucky for this, and this certainly wasn't the cleanest race I've ever done. I'm getting, you know, warnings all over the place, numerous warnings for slightly going off the track, and it is pretty harsh on our racing. All, all you got to do is, you know, put a a, a wheel off the track and it, it will it will punish you but ultimately by the end of it I came out and and got the win and I think I do a little bit of my reaction as well live at the time bloody hell what was that <laughs> for a first race in iRacing that was uh that was eventful holy cow <laughs> So, you know, I couldn't ask for more than that. My first ever race in iRacing, I take the win uh, in, in what was a pretty crazy race with all sorts of ups and downs. You can see there how the safety rating at least improved, although not by much because it was, 
hits all over the place. Um, I ended up with best lap as well. So I was pretty happy with that. But obviously we got plenty more races to come and I hope you enjoy going on the journey with me. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Did you enjoy? Do you want to see more of this? Thank you all so much and I'll see you next time.